Once an IP address has been authorized in your office, your team is ready to clock in and out. In our employee training video, we walk through how your team uses the software for timekeeping. One of the items covered in that video is your employee's ability to view and manage their own timesheets. If there is anything that is incorrect on those timesheets for any reason, you or your employee have the ability to edit timesheets. Click the employee's name that you would like to view from the top of the page or by selecting the team icon. Once you select their name, you will go to the employee section on the navigation bar, select timekeeping, and then select timesheets. To sort the timesheets that you are viewing, you can choose specific dates by clicking on the calendar icon. This will default to the current pay period, however, you can select to clear the date range, which will show all timesheet entries created. You can choose this work week, last work week, last pay period, last 30 days, or a custom date range. You can also sort by timesheet status for all open or closed timesheets. Open hours are those that are not closed by a payroll report. Total hours is the sum of hours that are displayed on the page. To add more entries to your view, you can adjust the drop-down menu at the bottom of the page. We recommend that your team always edit their own timesheets for documentation and compliance purposes and you approve them, but here's how you can edit them if need be. To add a brand new entry, you will click the Add Entry icon in the top right corner. When you create a timesheet entry, it will automatically approve. When your employee creates a timesheet entry, it will show as attention, meaning it needs your approval. If you want to edit a pre-existing timesheet, you can click the edit icon under actions on the right hand side. If you want to see what changes were made to a timesheet before approving it, you can click on the view icon under actions. From here, you can click the drop down menu for view modification history. Here, you'll be able to view what timesheet was before and after any edits, what time an edit was made, as well as the IP address that employee, where the employee was when the edit was made. You can hover over each field for more details. To approve an employee's timesheet, you can click the Approve checkbox under Actions, or you can select all entries by clicking the box on the top left. From here, you can click Approve Selected. Lastly, when an employee makes a timesheet edit, it will show up on your to-do list underneath Time and Pay. From here, you can select it to approve it. Thank you, and have a great day.